So how do you restore insoles? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how. So stay tuned. Welcome back and thanks again for joining me on this Cobbler Masterclass, How to Repair Insoles. In this video, I'm going to show you a very in-depth tutorial, maybe one of the worst case scenarios you could get. I use paints, I use glue, and I use insole material. So this is a great example. I painted and restored the outside of the shoe and uh, I just can't let it go with this dirty insole. And even though I tried to clean it, it's just not going to come clean. So I'm actually going to use, uh, this is called, uh, it's, it's uh, insole material, it's leather, and they are really long lasting, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut one to match this shoe, and it's going to look so nice. It's just really gonna make this whole restore pop. So um, this is the material, and it's so easy, a pair of scissors, you know, some material, a pen to trace the pattern, and, um, some glue. So uh, all the supplies I have mentioned in the description down below and I'll go ahead and show you the after picture on this. This is actually included in my painting uh, master class so if you want to see all of this how it transformed feel free to you know, click that link. I'll include that right up here for you and uh, have fun with this video. Insoles are a very big part of my business. I you know, charge, you know, charge about an average of 20 to 30 dollars a pair and a lot of insoles need to be done because they're not real leather. They're paint on fabric and they tend to crack and peel and so I get a lot of this request. And it can be made out of anything. It doesn't have to be this pre-cut material. I have big rolls of lovely uh, lamb skin and that makes for nice sewing material. So great. Uh, thanks so much for joining. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for sharing these videos and catch the rest of the series if this inspires you and you see yourself sitting on your deck at your home earning a little business as a sidekick thanks so much and from maui aloha the first step in a big project like this is to disassemble all the parts and remove all of the paint this shoe looked like it was covered in leather but it was really just paint on fabric so I use something like a screwdriver to scrape off the, the heavy particles and then sandpaper to remove the rest. Next, I use the original insole to make my own insole, but I made my insole longer that went all the way to the toes to give more coverage for the client. Applying the paint is always my favorite part. So this is easiest to, to paint the shoe when the surfaces are not yet assembled. That way you get paint in all of the areas. You don't have cracks later when, you, when you're when you trying to go in through the seams and everything. This just gives you nice full coverage. And you know, honestly, you just don't have to be as careful because you really can get paint everywhere. So now I'm just applying glue to the actual insole that I've pre-cut. Um, you see that I have a slit right there. I, I punch a hole where the uh, toe post goes through and then you cut a nice slice like that and it just slides right around that toe post. And we're going to put the 
insole in while it's wet. So I'm making sure I've got plenty of glue on here and um, we'll go ahead and slide it into the shoe. So what you're seeing here is I'm going to use this uh, screwdriver to grab the front end of this uh, leather with the glue on it so that I don't get a bunch of uh, glue smear marks all over the shoe. It allows me to get up in there. And since I have that slit, you're going to see here, it just goes right around that. And then I just lift all the edges and slide it on over. Even if you do get a little extra glue on the shoe, it doesn't matter because you can go back afterward and uh, spot glue. So I'm going to make sure that all of the edges of this insole have touched the surface of the bottom sole because that way, um, even if it tends to lift as it's drying, once I come back and squeeze it down after it's cured, it'll just glue perfectly and gives a nice tight seal. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, just, you know, glue this back part here. So by doing this in phases, it allows me to have more control over the insole and like I said, uh, keep from getting glue smeared all over the shoe in places that I don't want the glue to be. Okay, looks good. It looks like the insole fits perfectly, which is great. And there we go, nice. So I'm gonna just touch up some of these other spots back here with some glue. Once they cure, I'll press them down and they'll give us a nice uh, good surface to paint. We'll completely make this hole disappear as far as uh, the client can see. So it's been a few minutes and I'm pressing this material down. I'll press it down and probably even hammer it just a little bit here just to give it a nice real uh, flat finish. It helps disguise the hole. So let's put some paint on that now. This will be our uh, first coat going across the back here, but I'm using a pure paint. I'm not adding water to it. So it's going to give us a nice uh, coverage. Okay, now that the paint's dried, let's go ahead and put our glue on there. It makes it so much easier as you see the glue line is cut, uh, well past the edge of the paint, so it'll definitely hide and uh, look great when we're finished. Okay, this is the easiest part and it's the last part. So we are almost finished. It's gonna look so great when these two are all put together. You can see it has a really nice finished look. It's easy to line up. End to end, making sure you've got the edges on there aligned properly like a, like a puzzle piece. check it out it's all finished this is awesome it looks great it has a clean finished look to it and wow the client's just going to be super happy <laughs> <laughs>